in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top eight things to do in Temecula, California. I'm gonna give you some cool little places, some cool little knickknacks, and some, you know, some ideas. That way, you know, the next time you stop in Temecula, California, you gotta get a good gist of what's going on. So let's go on to the top eight things of living in Temecula, California. Now, if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is to do in Temecula, California, then sus subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications. That way you can get to know all the top things to do in Temecula, California. Now, my name is Jonathan. Uh, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Temecula, California, and we absolutely love it. And so whether you're deciding to move in nine days or 90 days, you can always give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom down below. That way we can meet face to face. At any rate, now the top eight things to do in Temecula, California, you know, we got some good options going on. We really, really do, whether you're an indoor body, you're an you know, outdoor body or you're really in between and you like a mixture of both. And so that's one of the cool things of Temecula, California, that it is pretty diverse in that sense that you're gonna be able to have, you know, best of both worlds. So starting with number one, it's going to be the Pachango Resort Casino and Casino, actually. It is a four-star hotel, right? What is there to do at the Pachango Resort and Casino? Well, let me tell you, of course, it, it is a casino, so uh, the, the obvious thing is you can definitely gamble. <laughs> so yes, that is one of the options is you can gamble, or maybe in the hot summer days, you can go enjoy a day at the pool and just go hang out there all day long just because they really have a sick pool going on there. You know, they have outdoor service and stuff like that. So that's a really cool, neat feature. It is that pool in the back. I mean, you know, if you wanna go with your friends and have a little getaway, it's, you absolutely can. It's, it's, it's a resort. So that's one of the cool big things of the Pachango Resort and Casino. Or maybe you can go enjoy a day golfing there because they do allow that as well. Or, or maybe you can go enjoy a live show a live venue because yes they do have um, musicians out musician 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 musicians out there where you can see some live concerts so they do have a little entertainment center within the Pachango Resort and Casino so another great option as well so there's so much to do at the Pachango Resort and Casino so that is going to be option number one option number two of things to do of living in temecula california and it is going to be one of my personal favorites is enjoy a day at a hot air balloon ride so they have the hot air balloon rides in temecula's in and around that uh, wine country it's really really cool so hey if you're looking to make a nice special date uh, as long as that significant other uh, is not afraid of heights right that is a really great idea because they can serve you some champagne, some nice toast, and possibly some fruits, and it's just a really nice romantic getaway. And you're gonna have amazing views. Uh, tip, you do definitely wanna bring a jacket because it can get pretty cold up there. Yes, it can. But isn't it, it is an amazing experience. So if you've never done it, you definitely wanna check that out because hot air balloon rides are amazing. They just are, they're fun. Um, and so for you you guys that are looking you know to propose uh, not a bad idea hey it's happened before we see it all the time so it's just a nice little spot now that right there is going to be the number two now let's move on to things to do number three the third thing to do if you're looking to move to Teve Temecula California or you're just visiting stopping by hey it's a really cool neat thing it's kind of blowing up more over the years and that is axe throwing Yes, axe throwing in Temecula, California. Again, it's more of a newer thing that's coming out. I personally enjoy it. It's a friendly comp competition every single time you go, and it's not as easy as it seems. It is actually pretty difficult to throw an axe and actually, you know, get it to hit. So, but it's really fun. And hey, if you you know you want to go with the boys and have some brewskis and just go have a, a friendly competition day, you absolutely can. It's just one of those options that you have of living in Temecula, California. Now let's go on to number four. 
Now, number four, again, if you are an indoor body, this might be tailored to you, but also if you love a rush, if you love a mystery, and you like to feel a part of the puzzle, there's always escape rooms in Temecula, California. So yes, again, just like ax throwing, escape rooms have been a more of a bigger and bigger thing throughout you know, the years, but I can see why. There's so much fun. This is if you have friends, family, even kids, you can go do this. It's just a great adventure. Um, the mysterious things, a puzzle that trying to solve it. I mean, it's really fun. So that is another big option if you're looking to move to Temecula, California, is that you do have those escape rooms. So that right there is gonna cover number four on to number five. All right, so number five is a mixture of a little bit of indoor and a little bit of outdoor, right? And that is gonna be switching it up just a bit, but that's the indoor and outdoor mall. So the Promenade Mall in Temecula, California. Now that is an option if you love to shop. So if you, you know, wanna go on a shopping spree, spree one day or go hang out at the, the Promenade Mall, you absolutely can. They have some amazing restaurants. One of my personal, personal favorites, I love Lazy Dog. So Lazy Dog's restaurant is there. They have uh, other things such as Yard House or the Cheesecake Factory. I mean, they have a variety of options. P.F. Chang as well. Um, so that's one of the cool things about the Promenade Mall. And then, of course, variety of stores for you to choose from. I mean, there's, there's a whole lot going on there. The movie theater as well, round one. So you can go play arcade and bowling. I mean, it's just a cool, neat spot. So I say indoor and outdoor, because yes, you can be inside the mall, but then you can also be outside the mall having a great time. California Pizza Chicken is, uh, pizza, pizza Kitchen. Did I say chicken? California Pizza Kitchen is also another great option there. So that's really cool that, you know, you get that. And so that is gonna cover number five. Let's go on to number six. All right, number six of living in Temecula, California, and that's gonna be Old Town Temecula. Now, Old Town Temecula, it's kind of, again, just like the Promenade Mall, <laughs> the Promenade Mall where, hey, you get a mixture of both because you can go into the little boutique stores or the amazing restaurants they have there, or you can just kind of, you know, walk around and just see kind of the history of what Temecula really is and was right so that's a really another neat option is you do have old town temecula there and all that it has to offer now if you want to go during the day it's really fun now if you really want to go during the night it's also really fun so hey if you like to go out there and you know ha have a couple drinks with some friends then the nightlife it's it's really there it's really alive especially during you know transitioning to the weekends at friday and saturday really thursday friday saturday I mean, you can get some some live concerts out there and you can kind of do everything. They have it a mixture of all. They have country music, they have R&B, they have it all. So that's one of the neat options if you are looking for that nightlife is Temecula, California definitely has it and definitely hosts it for you. So another great option. So that's gonna cover number six. Let's move on to number seven. Now, number seven, this is kind of more for those of you that are 21 and over, is you can go check out the different breweries that they have going on within Temecula, California. So yes, kind of day drinking, night drinking. So that's one big, big option here in Temecula. They do have some good breweries going on, which you know we are blessed to have. And so that's just, I'm gonna cut that one a little short, but there's not much to that besides going to go taste different types of beer and seeing what you like. So that's gonna cover number seven. Let's go on to the final last number eight that I'm kind of saving for last because this is the more popular thing that a lot of people love and enjoy and that's why they really come to Temecula. So moving on to number eight. So number eight, you guys, it is going to be the wineries. Now the wineries here in Temecula, the wine country, it is amazing with nearly 50 different wineries. I mean, you can see why people would like to come out here, enjoy a great day. It's great whether you have kids or you just wanna go with friends or by yourself. It's a nice getaway with nice, beautiful scenery, some amazing wine, some amazing food. It's just so relaxing and just kind of feng shui and it just has that serenity feeling when you're out there, just so calm and relaxed. Now with nearly 50 you know, wineries, it's hard to pick and choose which one is a great one. That's all really depending on you, what type of wine you really like. Now, however, you know, I, 
I believe the more popular one is definitely Wilson Creek, um, and that's what a lot of people you know tend to enjoy and go to. But there's a variety of different wineries that are all really great. And so that is kind of one of the biggest options of Temecula it is that we have the winery. So that right there is going to be ending this video. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or comments, definitely comment down below. Thank you for watching Living in South California.